The doctor is in. Today it's pediatrician Dr. Courtney Sauls from Ascension St. John Pediatric Medicine to talk about children teething and how best to help with that pain. Dr. Sauls, thank you so much for being here. Thanks. Good to see you. Good to see you. This is a topic that all parents are going to face if they don't have a kid, maybe one day, or if they have a child, they know about this. Yep. Uh, teething, yep. it's, it's a big deal. When does it start and how long does it last? Yeah, so every child teethes, so they're going to go through this. The average time to a first tooth is seven months of age. Some babies Babies will teeth a little sooner, some a little later, but most kids usually have a tooth by one. Gotcha. And how long does it last? I mean, when when do their last baby teeth start coming in? Yeah, usually by mid toddlerhood, you're going to get those last kind of bigger ones that are really uncomfortable for kiddos. I get um, these concerns a lot in my clinic because teething pain is uncomfortable for kids. It's brand new sensations, and so they have a lot of questions on how to make their kids feel better with their teeth. Yeah. So how do you make a child feel better with teething pain? Yeah. So some of the great things to try are going to be. Things that are cold, so uh, like teething rings, ones that are more solid, not the water-filled ones, those are gonna be great options. Um, freezing a cold rag in the freezer so that they can munch on that, or even um, simply washing your hands and massaging their gums with a clean finger. That can be a lot of help. And then um, appropriately dosed Tylenol or ibuprofen, according to their age, can really give them a lot of relief. What are some things to avoid? Are there certain things that, you know, we hear about some things that seem crazy, but what should people avoid not to do? Yeah. There are a lot of things that are pretty harmless, but there are a couple of things I want to touch on that can be actually dangerous for babies. And um, I understand parents want to make their kids feel better, so they're you know eager to grab anything over the counter that might help. But things to avoid are teething gels that contain benzocaine or lidocaine or belladonna. That can be actually fatal and deadly to kids if they have too much of it as a paralytic or can cause oxygen not to get to the right places in the body, which is crazy. And then also, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of teething necklaces. I know parents love them but um, the amber teething necklaces um, have been shown to cause some strangulation and even death in kids. So that's really something important to avoid, especially with sleeping. Anytime a child can get that necklace wrapped around something, that could be really dangerous. Is there ever a time when you should maybe see your pediatrician about a teething issue? I mean, a lot of this is harmless, but is there situations where it could get pretty bad? Of course. So if there is a tooth in a newborn baby or a very small baby where you wouldn't expect it, that's loose and wiggly. We want to know about that because that will probably need to be taken out. Or if a child does have a true fever above 100.4, it could be something else, not actually teething that needs to be addressed. So those are all appropriate times or even if you're just worried. I'm so happy to see parents and talk to them in the clinic, even if they just want some health with teething, because every child goes through it and it's not a lot of fun. Definitely, and uh, just one last thing, when should you start brushing the teeth for a child? Maybe yeah. instill that habit in them. Yeah, right away when that first tooth comes in, you can brush it with a tiny bit of fluoride-based toothpaste, like the size of a grain of rice, one or two times a day. And then they should be seeing a dentist between one and two years of age to get established and make sure that those teeth are nice and clean and healthy. And you have they have little baby toothpaste too, yeah, so that's they fun. do that tastes like strawberry. That's my son's yeah. favorite. <laughs> tastes good. All yeah. right, Dr. Sauls, thanks so much. If you have a question for Dr. Sauls or any of the doctors that we have here on the Noon Show, just email them to us at noonshow at griffin.news or go to our Facebook page and we'll be sure to ask it.